easy for me today. Come on, YouTube, bring it, bring it to me. Uh, guys, this is a lot of work over here. Um, I'm going to, if you guys want to uh, speak, we're going to do this Chicho Live uh, interactive. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I'm live. Let me see, it, show, it shows that I'm, uh, I'm live. Hopefully I'm live. Yep, that's it, guys. It shows, it shows that I'm, uh, I'm you hear live. that right there? I'm, I'm oh, man. oh, we got Alix. Alix came into the building, guys. Chit show live. All right, all right, all right. Salty. Salty, you don't mind being the co-host, right? All right, guys. My name is Alfred Montaner, and we are at the world-famous Black Point Marina. What's up, guys? What's up? I'm getting everything set up. Um, this is a Chit show live. This is happening right now at Black Point Marina in Miami, Florida, and uh, this is happening right now, guys, okay? So I'm also talking to you guys via Chicho Interactive. So if you guys want to talk, and uh, I, I don't know, we're going to chew the chip, right? We're going to chew the uh, chip for a little bit, um, at least until the stream uh, allows us. And uh, hold on. So let me see who's here. Let me make sure, guys. Guys, so if you want to speak, go to my Twitter, which is Chitcho Alfred, and uh, Alf I'm sorry, it's Alfred Chitcho on Twitter, and then uh, just ask to, to speak. All right. Um, Salty, what's up, bro? What's up? All right, so gaming, hello. I hey, yo. What's going on, bro? How's everything? Everything's good. How about you? Did tell, tell me, tell me, you saw that iCast video that I did with Alex? Yeah, I did. It was it was really good. It was that was a lot of stuff and a little bit of time, like you said before. Who's this? What's going on, man? We're live right now on YouTube. We're live right now. <laughs> um, dude, it was such a good time uh, seeing and doing everything over there with Alex, and. Uh, I just came back. I, I, it was just like a quick run and gun, but uh, badass. Let me tell you, I, I saw a lot of things that I never thought I would see. How's the stream looking over there, uh, Salty, on YouTube? Yeah, it looks good right now. You look clear. Okay. So it looks like it's going to be a on and off day. Um, I'm starting to think... I'm that little old lady that's in the family that uh, nobody wants to break her heart and tell her that Fred is dead. I don't know. I feel I feel like that's me. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. He's been gone a long time. He's been gone a long time, and and there's been sightings, right? But I don't know. Like I said, I feel like I'm that little old lady that you know, like, hey, uh, we can't tell Alfred what happened and what's going on because you know. He might just not take it too well. But look, the boat ramp looks like it's going to be pretty crazy. Um, yeah, and I'm surprised I really haven't seen him uh, yet. So, guys, if you come if you come into the stream right now, we're live on, on YouTube and we're live on Twitter. So here's what that means. That means that you can actually speak on Twitter and uh, your voice will come out live on YouTube as well. So this is what we call Chit Show Interactive over here at the boat ramp. And uh, if you guys have never been to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Alfred Montaner, and uh, I'm 6'5", 225, ripped, shredded. Uh, you, you have no idea how good looking I am, lady. So, so, but I'm taking, um, my wife is a realtor. So if you need uh, some uh, realty so services over here in South Florida, just uh, let, let her know, Mrs. Montaner. She'll probably be in the chat there talking to you guys. Uh, what else is in here? Let me see what's going on here. Uh, West Palm Beach in the house. Damn, look at this chat, bro. Alex, Alex, jump in, jump in into the Twitter. Alex, jump into, into the Twitter. All right, we got Mountain that just requested. Let's see what's up with Mountain. Um, Salty, let, let people know in the Discord that we're in, too. I want to kind of talk to people and see how Mike is. And Okay, I'll let him know now. Yeah, I think Noel's also. I've been, I've been on and off because I've been, I've just been, I've been just traveling, dude. Working. The grind. Alfred. What's up? Who's this? Uh, Danny from uh, Toronto, Canada. 
been watching you for a while and I just wanted to uh, say hi and also uh, I've been watching some of your videos about Miami and you're talking about Lowe's Hotel that's the one we should go and I've been looking at the prices man it's like like fifteen hundred dollars Canadian two thousand dollars if we go in February. That, that, that's Would gonna come have, down that's gonna come down all that's gonna come down that's trust okay. me when I tell you that's all gonna come down that's okay. right now here's what's happening and it's it's happening all across the world right you know people yeah. were locked down and they got money to spend and uh and these corporations are, are not stupid they're going to take advantage of those situations supply and demand so but what's happening because i'm already hearing about it those those uh bookings are starting to get rescheduled or canceled and those events and you know now have have this in mind right if you're coming in february you snowbirds like to run from the cold and there's a lot of people that do the same thing as you so you will see elevated prices at that time of the year in south florida um but i i like i said i would hold off a little bit before you make a move on on uh okay. because listen uh, spending two thousand dollars a night on a room is just ridiculous i mean it's yeah, just, it is. it's ridiculous uh, you know so i was gonna I, I was gonna ask you if you would have a suggestion of a hotel that would be close to south beach and would be really nice and the price would be a little bit cheaper and it would be nice for us to go down there and if that's only if you know anything and that's so, so, so listen um what happens is a lot of people get trapped right and they think that they could only enjoy miami if they go to south beach right and uh uber kind of changed that for everybody so uber and lyft right so you can go just over the bridge um to areas like coconut grove which have hotels you have Brickle in Miami, and there's other places, right, in South Florida that won't be on the beach per se. Like, if you want the whole beach experience, then you got to go and get a hotel on the beach beach. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, look, there's, there's a couple of hotels. Um, what's the name of this hotel? The, the, like, Key Biscayne has the Ritz-Carlton. Obviously, that's, that's going to be very expensive. But then again, it's a five-diamond property. It's amazing, mm -hmm. you know? So what I would say is... Don't be scared to get something in Miami, right? That that will be nice. And and I want I want to I want to reach out to some of these hotels and do actually walking tours and walkthroughs. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Of the hotels. Go, go to hotels where more affordable for, for the average people. <laughs> you know what I mean? When I looked at these prices, man, I went, "Whoa, these smokes, man! There is no way." But anyway, thank you so much to uh, taking my call and uh, have a great day today. Yeah, man, uh, we're gonna be we're we're gonna be here live for a little bit, so. Um, okay, cool. I, I don't know I'm why watching. this guy was making a scene here, but but yeah, let yeah. me see who else is in the stream, guys. <laughs> I'm okay, here, guys. You, Alfred. All right, thank you. Toronto needs some love, guys. We need some Canadian love, and here's the thing, right? You know how you you guys actually in Toronto and Ontario and and all these places get rid of those situations the way that you guys don't spend that much money you just get an rv and you come to the keys and you stay in your own place right and even those even those even those um rv places like outdoor resort and sunshine key and all that stuff have been really really elevated as far as prices because supply and demand so it's crazy okay hey, um, what's uh, up salty a, a sweet super chat. Who who was that? Noel. Oh man, Noel's freaking always putting me on the pole, dude. No, no, hold on a second. Let me let me look at the chat because look at Noel. <laughs> Thank you so much, Noel. No, Noel's guys, Noel's a, a a faithful regular, and I know I'm gonna meet Noel sometime in the future. And I hope it's not at a. I hope it's not at a strip club, and I'm the one on the pole. Damn him and Vinny Vinny pots and pans, bro. They <laughs> they don't stop. Speaking of Vinny Pots and Pans, um, last week I offered, because he had done so many Super Chats, um, to give Vinny Pots and Pans his, uh, his hats, right? And he said, no, give them away. And I gave one, uh, well, one is, is ready to be given to G-Man from Texas. And uh, another one is available. I, I, I don't know who he said, so I have to wait for Vinny to come in. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, guys, the the chit at the boat ramp is happening, and it's happening now. I'm surprised they really haven't closed the ramp yet. 
because uh, you would think there's going to be a lot of people out on the water today. Yeah. Uh-oh, we're going to have some music now. Wait for it. Let's see, let's see, let's see what they say. Hey, we're live on YouTube right now. We're live on YouTube. Say hello. Everybody's going out, guys. They're going to the uh, Boca Chita or, or Elliot Key. So if you not if you have not seen the Chicho, guys, this is Chicho Interactive. We're talking to people on Twitter. And uh, we're also um, live on YouTube, obviously, right? So, so if you guys want to come talk on Twitter, go to Alfred Chicho and uh, just request the mic on the space and you'll see it. Let me, let me check out this chat. Um, on the thing hey uh salty thanks for looking out with that bro because imagine i'm here running a camera i'm doing a million things and i can't really look at the chat um I see I, I, yeah i see alex is in there noel dennis alters chris white paul kimmel um I, lo I love these i love these little stingrays i feel like a bully every time i i uh i look at them and i just like i'm like please let it be the first time you're out oh please I need you. So, Salty, do you think I'm the uh, little old lady that they don't want to tell uh, that Fred is dead? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, I don't know. I think everybody's holding on to that hope, you know? Listen, uh, the guys from Freedom Boat Club are here every day, and they told me, hey, Alfred, I saw it, and they sent me a video. And I, I don't know. I don't see why they would. <laughs> I don't see why they would have to lie to me. <laughs> We're live on YouTube right now. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's, uh, it's, oh boy, is there a chicha going on here already? Dude, we just got here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. What are you doing? This guy's not coming back, guys. This guy's trying to leave. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? Bucky. So, yeah, I think we're going to have a pretty busy day today because there's people that came out on Friday. Um, and they, they slept over. I'm that freaking little old lady that they don't want to tell the Fred is dead, bro. That's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of do like a little, I don't know, like a little flower segment and everything. I'll just do a little ritual. I don't know. I'm that freaking little old lady, bro. Hold on a second, guys. Let me see who's in the chat. Over here at, at Black Point Marina. And uh, Paul Kimmel. So, so guys, Alex Foguera was with me yesterday at the, well, the day before yesterday at the ICAST. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, have a good day out on the water. Thank you, man. So, yeah, I was with Alex. Uh, we shot a really long video. It's about a two-hour video, but I broke it down into timestamps so you guys can see all the basically all the companies that were there at least all the ones that we went through it was like two and a half hours dude my knees were like i felt like a little old lady oh no i'm a little old lady that's it it's a confirmation what is this um let's see scott on hey, alfred the, the daytona beach in the house hey um oh look who's here the g-man from texas <laughs> we're live hold on hold on hold on all right, so G-Man from Texas was here, guys, and he has a channel. Let me, actually, you know, G-Man, look what I did. Hold on a second. Let me see. Uh, hopefully, I don't get um, disconnected here. Hold on, guys. This is the G-Man from Texas. Guys, we're here with Alfred Montanese. Don't, don't tell me you're live, too. No, I'm not live, but I'm recording here. I'm going to plug you into my channel, my, my humble channel. This is the guy with the entertainment of the year in Miami. Where he fills these people that have more money than brains. More money than brains! <laughs> making a spectacle of themselves at the docks. Wait, hold on. I got something for you. Because Vinnie Pots and Pans. Where did it? Oh, here it is. Guys, hold on. Because, listen. I just got a new batch, guys. All right? So, luxury rib tenders. Luxuryribtenders.com. Okay. This is the classic version. And this is kind of like the new ones that repel water. 
I like both. I, I really like this one. I wear probably this one the most, but I just can't. I can't use my own hats. Dude. I got to sell them. So LuxuryRipTenders.com. That's you. Oh Courtesy. No, you got to thank Vinny Pots and Pans. I know. I already did. Online. Okay. Vinny, thank you so much. I'm going to wear this right now. And so. All the time. And that, well, you know, I kind of earned it too because Vinny put me on the pole about six times. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got some for you too, uh, Alfred. Oh, yeah? Last time I was here, you mentioned you collect shot glasses. I do. You had a little mishap there. In the Dallas. I, I don't want to talk about that anymore. We... So I brought you something here. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. And, and these are two shot glasses. One is from, uh, it says Lake Fork, Texas, where I, where I live. All right. And Lake Fork, Texas is, is called the Bass capital of East Texas where the big million dollar tournaments are. And the other one is a oh. G-Man from Texas shot glass. A uh, G-Man from Texas shot glass? Those shot glasses, have, nobody has them in the world. They were done especially for me. You should have you should have brought me some whiskey or something to yeah, go ahead and take a shot glass, guys. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This just happened right now. Let me see if I can... Ah, I don't think you can get the en engraving, but it has Texas in there. Super cool. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys are freaking wild. <laughs> But next time you got to bring me some whiskey or yeah. something in there. Let me put this in here. So what's up, G-Man? You, did, you, did you come back? You, you already, you're jonesing for, for Miami that much and you already came back? Well, this is the thing. Um, my dad has cancer. Oh. And when he has a surgery, I come for his recovery. Oh, okay. He's here for a couple of weeks. He has surgery on the 18th. So you have family that stays here yeah. other than him? Mom and dad. And okay. And that hat looks good on you, dude. Yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's just awesome seeing that. Um, let me see who, who else is in here, guys. Um, I got... Let me check out this, this chat, first of all. I, imagine I'm, I'm everywhere, G-Man. I got, I got people putting me on the poll. Uh, g so, saluting Chicho and everyone in the chat room. Guys, so here's the thing, right? Since I can't follow the chat all the time, I read the chat after the fact, and... Uh, you guys are, are just super silly. Like, I think I could do a chit show just about all the, the stuff that you guys talk about in the, in the chat. Uh, let me get back into this Twitter space. Oh, don't put music out here. Oh, no. G-Man, you know better than that, bro. Don't make me throw you in here to the croc. The croc, oh, you, you want to know something? Here's the thing. So check this out. Look, look at this. Look at this. Check this out. I had a dream yesterday. This is kind of wild. Have you ever seen those rig, uh, really big uh, pit bulls that are like really, really big, but they're like massively big and strong? Yeah, like a so yes. So I was in a place, it wasn't Black Point. I don't know why it wasn't Black Point, but I wasn't in Black Point. And I typically don't remember my dreams. I really don't. And I look to the left and there's kind of like a, like a rocky ridge on the side. And I see that big kind of grayish blue pit bull. And then I see, a giant crocodile. Then I was like, damn, that's not Fred. So immediately, I think I've been on YouTube too long watching YouTube videos and crocodiles. I, I really, this is not good. Or maybe it's an omen that I'm actually going to see Fred today. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Um, but yeah, so I look to my left. I see that thing and I see the crocodile walking. But it was walking kind of like on the paved, paved walkway like I have back here. And he's walking. And then all of a sudden, that brave ass blue pit bull being a dumb dog, which, which we've seen on YouTube, they go ahead and they try to think that they can attack anything. Oh man, what was that for, dude? So all of a sudden, the pit bull goes over there and it tries to be really aggressive. Ah! And then the croc, a bigger croc than Fred, just snaps at him. Misses like twice. Yeah, it's a hell of a yeah I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It, it, listen, it, it misses twice. I, I tell you, I relive this. I, can relive, I'm, I want you guys to relive this. So he misses twice. All of a sudden, the dog and the croc from the ridgeway get from the little walking area. They get off of that, and then the dog went to, and tried to attack the croc again. And the croc just opened his mouth and split him right in the center of the stomach and just boom, took him in. And uh, and then I woke up and I was like, "Fudge! I gotta pee. What is wrong with this little platter? I got. I'm getting old. What is this?" Yeah, what's up, guys? Yes, um, that was the warning shot video. Yeah, warning shot. You, you know, I what's up, guys? You know, I, I, I play around with them, right? 
when they're doing those recoveries because they have to do the recoveries. But um, yeah, they, they have to have a spotter. They have to have a spotter to tell them, hey, listen, the croc is around. <laughs> but it's not like the croc is going to go ahead and say, yeah, hold on a second, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then after finding out and researching a lot more about these crocodiles and stuff like that, what they really don't like is for you to get in their space, right? So if you get in the water, which is what they consider their space, they, they, they will, they will get you. They're, yeah, they're very territorial. I was fishing, bass fishing in the Everglades once, and I actually fell surrounded by gators. They didn't even, they didn't even click. The uh, gators. Was when the boat said that besides Jesus, he had never seen anybody walk out of the water. I just ran that boat. <laughs> Listen, um, so so one of the guys that uh, is it's not about no, no, I know the bar ceremony is always going to happen. Too. That I mean, it's always going to happen. But there was there's a place called uh, Jess, uh, Jessup Jessup Lake. No, it's 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 a lake that's in um, in the in middle of the central Florida. So so what happens is. There's a bunch of gators in that area. And you know I'm doing the dinghy series, right? Yeah. Oh boy, we're gonna have to keep this conversation going. Just keep on talking, yeah, G-Man, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I, yeah, I don't want- The dinghy series is pretty cool. <laughs> the, the, the bridge and all that. So, bro, I, you see, I can't stand yeah, this. Yeah, and, yeah. and here's the thing, right? What's gonna happen is, because of this particular song, because yeah. that's Bad Bunny, so yeah. automatically that algorithm goes, oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, 100%. But here's the thing. I'm trying to talk over it yeah, and maybe, yeah, maybe, pick it up. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe it doesn't take it and the beat comes. It's just, or whatever. They, they think that people would like to hear their music. I mean, you never know. That, you know what kind of, of people Of course people not. Like of course not. Listen, listen. You know, one of the things, I don't know if recently, if you saw um, what, I, what I did in my community tab, I asked you guys. I said, hey, listen, send me some new um, songs. And in that community, I wanted a recommendation. Here, here's the thing, right? You come in with the music, you ask for the attention. Yeah, I'm going to give you that attention, right? So, <laughs> so wait for it. But, but the music is awesome, right? <laughs> this is where, how is it? More money than brains. More money than brains. Um, but, um. This is the more money than brains. That's what um, yeah, yeah, that's probably about a 35 foot bull. But, but look, 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 the line is in the water. It's a, it's a, it's a chicho, dude. It's a chicho. But this is genuine chicho. This is what you do. This is what you, this is what you bring us every day. Hilarious. Watch, watch. Who doesn't? Right now, I bet you right now there's people in the chitter right now. The Pole of Faith. So, um... Hell, I was in the movies the other day, waiting for the movie to start. I got there early. I was watching the chit <laughs> <laughs> You, you, uh... I, I, I kind of... I kind of binge on YouTube, too. Y you know, look... But, you're full, but, you're not into that, right? but here's the thing, right? So, YouTube, the good thing about YouTube is that it kind of, like, recommends things that you think... It thinks that you might want to see, right? I mean, sometimes it doesn't. But then you get you get caught up in this whole loop. You can sit in that chair. Sit in that chair. Sit sit in that chair. I get caught up in this loop, and uh, somehow, some way, I always end up in the zip popping section. I'm popping zits, and I'm like, "How did I get here?" <laughs> and, uh, so I'm trying to figure out how I can I can actually trick the algorithm to go from zip popping to chicho, right? Maybe maybe that'll bring me a big uh, guys. There's millions of views for zip popping. Scale, or the chicho scale. On the chicho? That was a zero, that was a ten. You know, I bet you everybody will, will, will chime in on that and give their own rating. Look look at Bert, guys. Bert dropped a five dollar super banger. Bert's got a Bert's got a rib fishing shirt. Bert, I got the same rib fishing shirt you got right now. I have it on right now. Here's the thing, G Man, that I could, I could, but then um, it might make it a little too easy, right? Um, I have to see if we were to do something like that, we would do it on a designated day. Right. That we say, guys, today, it's a rainy day. 
Yeah, and then we put like signs on Chicho Live, and everybody has like a number one through ten. Yeah, but we have to make it like an event day. It has to be like an event, proper event that you come over here. What you know? about what about people sending you food at other ramps through the country? Or the world? Absolutely, people. But li listen, people, people send me footage, and I what here's here's my thing. Here's my thing. What I tell if somebody wants to send me footage and for it to be on the chit show, it has to be exclusive to the chit show, right? Because what happens is they'll put like something on social media, and then all the um, uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, not even copy the the I was for this. All the parasites. That's the word I want. All the parasites that don't do nothing. See, I create something. I'm here. I'm creating something. Yeah, yeah. There's people that go ahead and get whatever other people film, and then they package it and they say it's mine. And that's bullshit because. Chicho. Chicho. Oh yeah, we're live. Tamo vivo. We're live in the house. Where are you guys going? That's that. That's a nice little blackfin, man. I like that boat. That's a nice little boat. So, so yes, those 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 people to me are parasites, right? If you can't create something yourself, well, think about it, right? So, so, so somebody. Oh boy, what is wrong with this? So somebody, look. Oh, he's gonna hit the back. No, don't throttle. Oh, oh, dude, he almost. Din, 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 din. Um. So, so yeah, like somebody the other day asked me and said, hey, uh, you know, I want to use your, you know, content. I do this, this, nap, blah, 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 a little short snip. I go, I'm like, dude, you know, I spend 10, 12 hours a day uh, in the sun. I, I don't want to get paid to do that, right? Because I don't know what you're going to use my, my content for. You know what I'm saying? Um, if, 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 they, if they send it to me and it's exclusive to the Chicho, I, I'll use it. You know, and I'll give that person credit, and I'll say, "Hey, I do have a Dropbox." They send it to you straight, and they don't put it on social media. The problem is, is that after I got hacked, I'm very um, reluctant to click any links. Yeah. So, so a lot of people sometimes think that I'm dismissive of them, or, or ignore them, but it's because I, I was three and a half months down on YouTube because I got hacked. So, so yeah. Guys, welcome to the stream. Alfred Monson over here. I'm um, here with G-Man from Texas. Check out his channel as well. And uh, we're at Black Point Marina. And we're live on, uh, on Twitter as well. So if you guys want to check out Alfred Chicho, Alfred Chicho on Twitter, you guys can come up and talk. And uh, Salty, nobody has come up and requested to speak. No, and I don't have co-host, so I can't. Oh, dude. Damn. Um, sorry about that. I didn't even realize I did that. Um, I know a lot of people uh, have been asking about, they want to get off my lawn shirt, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make one, right? Because, you know, the get off my lawn is, is pretty, it's pretty epic when it comes to the chicho. Everybody kind of likes that little phrase when all these big boats come through. Has it stayed, the stream has stayed pretty consistent, Salty? Yeah, it looks good. Good, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I mean, it looks good. Wow, isn't that crazy? Dude, I, you know, here's the thing, right? There's no delay. No, no, there's no delay. There, that's why, that's why at least, at least if somebody's going to say, Yo, I'm 1997, you went ahead and filmed my wife on the beach. <laughs> and then they come stab me, right? But at least G-Man from Texas is here. <laughs> and he'll stop him. You'll stop somebody, right, G-Man? At, 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 at least say, yeah, you're a, you're a former law enforcement, guys. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You tell him, listen. If you see him with a knife, just say, look, get off my lawn. <laughs> guys, here's, here's one thing that I don't understand, dude. I don't, un I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Uh, you see, this this is a problem for me. All right, all right. Right now in Miami, the fuel on the street is four thirty nine. Four thirty nine. You just put. So it's it's come down. It's come down. But uh, the pricing hasn't been reflected at the at the ramp. 
Now, I don't know why. I don't know why. Well, I would assume, here's my assumption, right? I mean, this is my assumption just, you know, as, as a, someone who has somewhat common sense. Maybe they purchase the fuel and they fill up their whole fuel tanks at that price and then they got to get rid of all the fuel and then they can lower the price when they get the new batch of fuel. Who knows? I don't know, but I would think, I would think that that would come down already because, because think, listen, I, I, I made these hats and these hats, I have to sell them expensive as hell. But dude, to get the hats, if I can get them, and then the embroidery people, and I'm like, whoa. And, I'm, and, and the same thing, look, some guy said the, said the other day in the chat, he was like, bro, you're going to spend $35 on a hat? And I get it. I, I, I totally get it. But I have a certain amount bought already at a certain price that I, I mean, I'm... Well, well look, the good thing is, it, it, what, how's the quality of the hat? It, it's, a good, it's a good quality. Of course, because I don't, I don't sacrifice on quality. Yeah, you represent the, the chicho. Oh, you know what's funny? After you told me about what people say in Texas, like uh, what was the, oh, um, wait, wait. What was the, the, the terms that they use? Uh, bless your heart. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Yes, I was thinking, I was thinking. So I was thinking how nice of her, you know? Bless his heart. And I was like. And I, I, I didn't know I was getting ripped to shreds, right? So I was in Fort Worth, Texas, guys. And long story short, they, you know, somebody said, bless his heart. Yeah. She looked all nice. She even tilted her head to the right. Oh, bless his heart. Yeah. And I was like, this is such a little nice lady. <laughs> little did I know G-Man from Texas. And then I had a confirmation of a subscriber that came over here yeah. that she just wanted to meet me. So I was like, look, I'm not going to be out there today. But if you're at the boat room, I'll swing by real quick. So I swung by and uh, I met her. It got kind of weird. Her husband was like, why does my wife want to meet this guy so much? Oh, okay. And then the first thing I tell him when they're both walking up to me, I was like, hey, bro, you got to keep your lady off of my DMs. <laughs> Ooh, shoot. What's up? I got Apex here in the space. Would be great if I want to talk to you. Let's go, Apex. Throw it in there, bro. Let's see where you at, Apex. Talk to us. Tell us what's going on. What's up, Alfred? Thanks for being out there and doing everything you do at the boat ramps, man. You're amazing to watch on the streams, bro. Yeah, I know you guys are basing like little crackheads waiting for Chicho content. I, I have, I have, I, ma I imagine I did some awesome footage from Dubai, awesome footage from Abu Dhabi. You guys don't even click on it. You're like, bro, if it's not Chicho, I don't want it, bro. Go away, Alfred. Go, go away. <laughs> uh, no, no, me and my wife, we really enjoy your show out here in Arizona. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's always a good time. So let me ask you something. What is going on in Lake Mead, dude? What is going on? What, what, how, what's going on with the drought over there in Lake Mead? Tell, tell me, as somebody that's in Arizona, isn't that like not too far from you guys? It's, it's not too far. I, I was living up in Las Vegas last year for the last eight years. And, uh, man, it's, it's really, really bad there, bro. There's uh, hundreds of feet of water loss, like no ramps. They're... They're having people drive in, uh, just backing in off of off of just straight dirt to try to get into the lake. Um, it's really for uh, the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains feed all that stuff, and the snow packs, and it, it, the the mountains aren't just um, aren't getting any snow. Well, hopefully, hopefully uh, that starts. I mean, I mean, when I was I was looking at some of those videos on YouTube. Um, Sin City, um, is it Sin City Fishing or something like that? Well, yeah, yeah, I, I saw that guy's channel. They they do a lot of coverage about, about yeah, the lakes. Yeah, imagine like it's it's been it's been crazy, dude. So, and and imagine it's impressive to see like there's a there's a power boat that's like you know it looks like it's sunk and then it it got wedged into the sand and it's facing straight up because it was for many many years underwater. That thing is almost wow. almost fully out of the water at this point. It's I mean. It's it, what well, it is. It's fully out of the water already. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, man. I was I was I was tempted to be honest with you, to to go over there, and um, and check it out, right? The whole area. But uh, I don't know. It's 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 a little far. I would have to, because I would probably go over there in the dinghy, right? And uh, I do a dinghy video, 
Um, yeah. you know, it's easy. What, you know, I don't need a boat ramp. <laughs> I just need an air pump. Yeah. But yeah. The, all these people are from Freedom Boat Club, guys. So Freedom Boat Club is uh, kind of like a, you rent a boat over here and, uh, and you come back and you just drop it off. You don't have to worry about cleaning it. I don't know, that, that kind of seems kind of attractive the older I get, I'll be honest with you. So you, you and your wife watch a Chicho uh, um, kind of like at night when you guys are, like, let's see what Alfred is doing. <laughs> let's see what, <laughs> what the hell is Alfred up to now? <laughs> yeah, usually we, we catch the, uh, the replay videos. It's hard to get on live. Uh, I work during the day and so does so she. We just opened a racetrack here in Arizona. And uh, we've been putting in long, long, hard days to get that thing up and running. What do you mean by racetrack? Uh, so, like, a, the working formula in racetrack ownership is a membership country club style uh, situation. So instead of a golf course, it's mm. a racetrack. Um, yeah, people come in and pay uh, their initiation fees for their dues, and then they pay a monthly membership, and they're guaranteed so many days of driving on the racetrack. Um, is that like a big thing over there in Arizona? Yeah, it's it's kind of uh, become a, a thing out in Arizona. There's a few tracks in California that run the same type of theme, and there's also one uh, up in Nevada that does the same type of situation. Do you do boating yourself? Uh, I haven't been on the water for many, many years. I used to do some kayaking in the Monterey Bay when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't have a boat. How, how did you? How did you? How did you stumble across the Chicho? Uh, just in my recommended feed, and man, it, it's just so addicting to watch the, the <laughs> Chicho go <come> down. <laughs> <laughs> the Chicho is. Listen. Um, I haven't been here for a little bit because I've been busy doing a lot of things. And I came back and I was like, damn, I, I kind of miss this place. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I, can get, I can get why you guys are jonesing. Now, the chit show per se, like the craziness will typically happen in the afternoons when people start coming back, right? Um, so, so normally within this time frame, I'm always looking like for situations to see what happens and if I think something's gonna happen I can film or tell a story after the fact, right? Like yeah. somebody here is over here making a scene back here. I don't know uh, I don't know what's going on. But I hear it. We always get we always get excited when the uh, the boat wraps a little shiny and slippery, you know, with a little blue blue blue. Well here's the thing. I do expect some rain later. So when you do get some rain and low tide and a Jeep, you, it's gotta be a Jeep guys. The Jeep's go bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a bloop, bloop, bloop shirt, and I'm going to put it on a Jeep just so the Jeep guys could just go ahead and go, go ape shit on me. There you go. So, yeah, the Jeep guys are really passionate. I get those, like, DMs in the background. I don't, I don't know why more Jeep guys don't come with the snorkel to the boat ramp. Just be ready for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So we got a CV coming through. Let me see who's in there. Well, listen, Apex... Thanks for joining us, man. Uh, um, I'm going to invite people into the stream um, to just talk, right? So, guys, Alfred Chicho on Twitter, and you guys can uh, be on Chicho Interactive. I love when you guys uh, talk, talk and tell us about your area and stuff like that. But listen, what I'm going to start doing, if you guys check my community tab, when I'm in certain areas, I'm going to kind of highlight where I'm at. So, hey, maybe I can meet some of you guys when I'm in certain places. Like I, hey, I, thanks for taking time out of your day to talk with me, Alfred. Nah, you're, man, uh, it's good, top, man. Yeah. You, you guys, you guys are awesome, dude. And that's why I kind of, I, I said, I said, how can I talk to the people without, you know, look, I, if I talk to you guys on the comment section, it's cool, but when I talk to you and we're talking, it's much cooler. And that's why I said I'm going to incorporate both of these, you know, ch Twitter and YouTube, and be able to do this Chicho Interactive. Did you hear that? Yeah, open conversations are great to have with people, yeah, man. It's, a, it's an awesome dialogue. Yeah, yeah, because here's the thing, right? Like, like I can't understand your point of view or your perspective on something because I'm not there, right? And yeah. one of the only things that allows people to, to understand why certain people think a certain way is because their reality is different from yours, right? So, 
you know, I can't relate to people that are in San Francisco um, comparing them to people that are in Miami or something like that. Yeah, we are, we're in the same country, but, you know, thought processes are different because of just many things, right? Yeah. So that's why I like to travel and talk to people. And, you know, when I, when I, when I did those videos of, of Abu Dhabi and, and Dubai, I'll tell you, um, I, was, I was so, so mistaken as far as what my thoughts or perceptions were of those areas. And I, I, I knew that they were very um, liberal in the sense that, you know, some, sometimes when you think of the Middle East, you automatically think it's super conservative and this and that. And, uh, you know, it is, it is conservative, right, as far as their thinking and, and what they do. And, and obviously, as an American, we, our thought process is different, but I have to respect their culture. And uh, it wasn't as, as, as strict or, or as crazy as I thought. And um, the more I travel, the more I see how things are changing as well, right, throughout the world. Yeah, no, nah, man, the, the, everyone's so quick to be super tribal and, and disagree and, and bump heads and not try to find, uh, you know, common ground on things. And, like, people need to just be brought together more and, uh, you know, find find things that are, are in common. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's wild. Um, and I'll tell you right now, I mean, I was able to get a good, uh, a good uh, deal when, uh, when I went to Dubai with uh, my wife to the boat show. And um, I want to go back to the 2023 boat show because I think it's going to be cool, right? And I, I, but this time I want to take my kids, I want to take them with me so they can experience that culture as well, right? Um, because, you know, they, they'll, they'll learn, right? They're going to learn and, and, and I, I want them to see. And not just there, I just want, I, I want to go everywhere. I mean, I've, my, 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 my intended goal is for my kids to have a better life than me, right? And hopefully they can travel the world and learn different cultures. Do you see that horse fly, Jimin? Yeah. Dude, this guy's gonna be a part of the show. <laughs> hey, Alfred. Yeah, what's up? We've got Walter on deck to speak to you too. What's uh, up? I'll pass it on to Walter, Alfred. Thanks for taking time out of your a day to have a chat with me, buddy. Apex, a text me. Uh, send me a, a comment on uh, on where that that. Uh, that speedway or that racetrack is, so we can maybe plug it on the community chat. It's it's the Podium Club in uh, Casa Grande, Arizona. Good. Um, what do they what do they get? Do they, do they get a free beer <laughs> if they say Chicho? <laughs> there it is. All right, guys, and maybe dump it into Lake Mead. We we will we'll get. We'll add it. We'll add it back to the dam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, Walter? Hey, Alfred. Just wanted to say hi from Corpus Christi, Texas. Walt hello there. Walter, you're a regular man. You're a regular. Um, I'm glad you're always here. You're always here. You're always in the comment section. Guys, I, I, I know I know my subscribers. I really do. And I know my haters. At this point, I just started, like, deleting or, or hiding them. So on YouTube, we have a hide feature. Like, when you, when you just, like, it, it's okay to have constructive criticism, but if you just hate just because... You're just mad at yourself and mad at the world and you just want to hate, then I just block you and then you can never say nothing on my channel, right? And then you're like, damn, this guy is not into freedom and this and that. But it's not that I'm not into freedom because I, I think I'm one of the most freedom loving YouTubers there is, right? But I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna go ahead and open up my comment section and have somebody bash me because you know they don't Yeah, bro, I don't understand those kind of well, you know what? They're trolls, right? And uh, regrettably, a lot of people, they have uh, issues, right? And, and sometimes, sometimes they think that that's going to make them feel better. But realistically, you know. So, Walter, yeah. where, where, where exactly are you at? I'm in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, I'm about miles from the beach. So, so you know, you know, G-Man from Texas is here, right? So no, I didn't look at G-Man. So, so G-Man, G-Man right now is, is sitting right here with me. Um, he's over here visiting. Oh, cool. So, he's back here. Oh, is this a get off my lawn? Get oh. off my lawn. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, G-Man, oh. wait for it, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Leave it low! 
<laughs> hey, when are we going to do a, a factory tour? Five videos? We're live right now. When we do the, hey, the walking tour of the factory, Eddie. All right, next week, you're live. Don't go back on your word. That's it, Bobby. <laughs> Alfred. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, Alfred, Renee just put you on the pole. Oh, damn it. Hold on, G-Man. Hey, Joe, but we'd like to see some more of Fishman Joe. Fishman Joe, listen, I, I, I am going to be going to, to haul over a lot more uh, in the next couple of weeks. So I was supposed to be with Fishman Joe recently, and uh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't go, and uh, Joe's been real busy, too. So, yeah, I definitely will be there. Who put me on the pole? Hold on a second. Let me see who who, who put me on the pole. Renee. Uh, where's Renee? Hold on a second. Damn it, Renee. Uh, G-Man, do me a favor. Turn around. He <laughs> put me on the pole, man. Come on, man. This G-string is, is, is a little tight. All right. Um, hey, you would think that, uh, that the, the pontoons would have, like, a weight limit. Can you imagine? Look, look at that pontoon right there, G-Man. You think, think? Imagine that going out of Hallover, oh, no. with all, <laughs> with all those people. I'm going back to the EJ Bill. Yeah, hey, w that. Walter, man, thank you so much. Um, shout out to Texas. I'll tell you, Michigan and Texas has been representing the most when it comes to to uh, hat sales. I was surprised. I was really surprised how many people from Michigan. Oh boy, we got a smoker. We got a smoker. I need a hat, but I didn't see it on your on the YouTube website. So, no, so so it's not on YouTube. It's on luxuryribtenders.com. Oh, okay, on your so, website. So so yeah, so it's on the store section of my website, and um, that's where that would be, Walter. And to be honest with you, the last batch that I got, they've been since there's shortages, they've been they've been trickling down. Um, a certain amount of hats to me and then they they get more you know so as soon as i get them i open it up and i put the inventory on the site but what happens is they just they just get sold out quick because there's not there's not that many oh yeah look look yeah. look look at tarantula farmer wait for another you see look at that michigan that's exactly what i was saying um oh god we got music coming back what's up gmail i'm to get to miami within the next year Hopefully you, you need proof? Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. I got to turn the, the camera here to G-Man. Um, hold on. How do you see I'm here? I'm hold, with Alfred. I had to hold on, hold on. Let me tell the ladies. Yeah. Let me tell the ladies. Hey, go that way. Go that way. Yeah. <laughs> Go that way. Get your bikini back. Okay, honey, I'm, I'm here. Nothing's happening. Got a new hat. Guys, this is the G-Man from Texas. Let me see if I can zoom in. We're by, my, we're by ourselves. So, so, oh, no, no, no. No, the bad bunny is back. The bad bunny is back. Please, please. What was that? I'm going to go over to YouTube so I can see G-Man there. All right, guys. Yeah, he's there. So you'll see him. It's, it's in real time. Esto, estamos vivo. Estamos vivo ahora. He's asking me uh, in Spanish. He goes, "This comes out tomorrow." I'm like, "No, this is live. This is happening right now, dude." Um, what's your wife saying, G-Man? Her name is Yvonne. Hold on, Yvonne. Let's see. Let's see what Yvonne says. Okay, so here's the thing, right? How long has this stream stream been going on? Right? So, I think we should have like a time limit yeah. at the boat ramp, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, like, like kind of like get your chit in order, yeah. have your stuff on the boat, have everything ready, drop it, walk to your truck. Especially not at the ramp. Yeah, walk, the walk from your area. truck to the area, start your boat, maybe keep it on for two minutes, boom. Well, listen, that's, a, that's what any salty, boater will do they're always going to start the motor at their house at first that just makes common sense right but uh, you know sometimes people lack common sense and then they come over here and then they can't start it and they're like why why is my battery dead well maybe you haven't used your boat in six months
You have a battery tender on yours? Hey, Salty, how's that new job, man? I, I saw that uh, you were saying that you got a new job and a new phone, and you're, you're cheating on Android back to iPhone? Dude, I got two phones in my hand right now. So, so, so do I. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I got two phones in my hand, and... Uh, uh -huh. And, and I'm I, and I'm I, and I'm panning a camera. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, yeah, no, I'm getting used to it. It's, it's, uh, all right, all right. So so in the I just I just like to stir up the the iPhone people and you know how the iPhone, like I was a, I was at iCast and one of the guys from Bixby, I think the owner of Bixby was like, oh, you're you're the green bubble guy. I'm like, yeah, I'm the guy in the green bubble. And my and my family is all iPhone guys. And I'm so glad not to have an iPhone. Just the fact that I see these weirdos fighting for chargers all day. Every single day, there's like a beat down in my house. Who stole my charger? Why'd you take my charger? That's my block. No, that's your block. Da da da. And I just, I just like having my little USB-C charger. Nobody can touch it or need it until they actually, I think a laptop now that there's in the house that uses one of my chargers and now I have to hide my shit. Uh, I went over to it kicking and screaming, but uh, Walter just put you on the pole. Buy a beer for you and Mrs. Montaner, guys. Well, listen, you know, I miss Montaner. You know, we haven't really done anything this summer yet. So she was like, hey, listen, I know you like to work and you're really uh, enthused about what you're doing, but I need you to take me on a vacation and... Uh, and leave her cameras. And I was like, well, we can't go on vacation. She was like, why? I go, I can't leave the cameras. So we we kind of, we came to consensus. This is a nice CV, dude. This is a nice looking boat. Um, so so here's here's the thing, right? So, so the compromise is this. Wherever I end up, I will likely film, right? But I would have to do my filming in the morning. So it doesn't interrupt them because Imagine, they're like, hey, dad, get off the lawn. <laughs> Literally, get off the lawn. Well, that's so. marriage. you got to compromise. Right? Oh, no, listen, 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 listen. I, you see, the problem with me is when I get infatuated with something, the infatuation is deep, right? So I just I just go balls to the wall. Like, if I were... Yeah, you got to be infatuated with your wife, though. I am. I absolutely am. Of course I am. <laughs> so so I, I do everything. What happens is... Because people see me here on the weekends, they think that we don't do anything, right? And that's, yeah. that's just not the case. The dif our difference is, is that we do a lot of things during the week because we have the... Oh, boy. This is crazy. This is going to happen right here. This... So we have, we have the, the blessing of being able to have a lot more time than, than most, right? So, 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 so I think when, when people think they're like, oh, well, you guys don't know. No, we do. We do a lot of things, you know, and, and we, we do a lot of things as a family. The difference is, is that we just... Don't do it during the week. And now, when you don't see me filming out here at the Chit Show, yeah, I'll do stuff on the weekends with my family as well. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop. Like, I'm not gonna stop doing something because I gotta film at the boat ramp or something. That's, that's not gonna happen because we still do stuff on the weekends, you know. Um, yep. But it's, it's just a little bit more coordinated because, you know, I, I say, okay, you know, Memorial Weekend, I definitely want to be at the boat ramp. Uh oh, I heard a get, get off my lawn. Uh, do we have our first get off my lawn coming? So, so hey, yeah. Uh, Steve, is, Steve is ready to speak, I think, too. Hey, Alfred. What's I'm up? I'm coming to you from Heber Springs, Arkansas, Greer's Ferry Lake. You know, you know what? <laughs> this is like our first Arkansas uh, call. I don't think I've had, actually had anybody from Ar Arkansas. Um, I, don't th I don't think you probably have. I tell everybody about your channel. I love watching it. Uh, I uh, get ready to go out on my boat on the lake this afternoon. Of course, we don't have the exciting uh, weather and or rough water that you guys have down there. We just have a large lake, but uh, I've got two boats, and a 30-foot party barge and a bass boat. So, uh, but I like watching you guys. I always like to see when one of the U-Haul 1995 a day rental trucks comes up because you know you're going to get a show. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 100, 100, 100, 100 percent. Um, we got a couple of get off my lawns coming over here. So, so I haven't. I think Arkansas is one of the very few states that I have yet to visit. Um, 
And here's my question to you now, right? Why haven't I gone and where should I go when I go? Go to North Arkansas. Go anywhere north of the uh, Interstate uh, 30 and Interstate 40. Uh, and you'll see some of the most spectacular uh, uh, views and uh, nature and area that you'll ever see. Really? Is there is there like uh, live uh, animals wandering in uh, in that part of the country? Yeah, yeah, depending on where you go, you can see bear, a lot of deer, uh, elk, things like that. So, 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 so yeah, I did see some elk when I went to Wyoming, and I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a, we have a few in Ar northern Arkansas. So. so the people from uh, oh look here's 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 uh, the world's famous <laughs> Tobo captain Captain Lance is that Captain Lance or is, is no that's Captain Lance guys. Um, but uh, yeah, so what are the people from the south gonna say? Are they gonna say something, Captain Lance? Uh, you'll be you'll be fine. We're live on YouTube. You got a victim? Right outside, wait for it. Captain Lance, guys, the most famous Tobo captain in the world. Um, so the people from the, like, that live on South Arkansas, they're not gonna wanna shank you in the middle of the night because you're, you're hating on the South? Oh no, no, South Arkansas is okay, it's just flat. Uh, I grew up in the hills and the mountains, uh, the mountainous area, northern part, so I like that better than the uh, rice fields and the soybean fields and things like that. Are you guys? Are you guys seeing? Um, uh, it, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of farming, right, in that area as well uh, it, within the country. Oh yeah, Arkansas produces uh, over 50 percent of the rice produced in the United States. So. Oh, okay, so here's my next thing. Oh boy, this guy's this guy's gonna. Oh no, and we're gonna get shot killed by the damn CV. Oh my goodness, the love tap. Um, okay, so here's my question, right? So you know we have all these. Um, Potash prices for fertilizers and all that have gone extremely up. Has that has that affected uh, a lot of the farmers and farming in that area? Not only that, but the price of diesel fuel has really hurt farming. And if they don't get this under control, we may have a food, a food shortage in the United States in the next two to three years. You know, one of the things when um, it, within my travels, I remember one time. I was driving through Nebraska. Where was, oh, we went to we went to South Dakota. We went to Mount Rushmore, and we saw Crazy Horse uh, over there while we were in South Dakota in the Black Hills. And then we crossed through Nebraska. <laughs> and I would never forget. I was everybody's sleeping. My wife, you know, normally is co-pilot. She's there sleeping in the car. She wakes up. She looks to her right. She goes, "Are we? There's there's still cornfields here." And it was just cornfields and cornfields and cornfields and cornfields for like hours. And then at that point, I said to myself, in America, we'll never starve. But then, you know, I failed to realize that a drought will be a huge problem for farming, right? And, uh, exactly. and not, just, not just a drought, but, but fuel, right? Because, you know, you got to operate those pumps to, to, to irrigate the, the farmlands and so and the and the equipment to uh, harvest the crops uh, absolutely uh, absolutely and the equipment to to harvest all the crops so so yeah it's not just about land um but i'll tell you like in the midwest i mean i i would say bless their heart but i know in in, in texas that's that's not but but yeah i really really appreciate all the farmers and ranchers that that uh, make sure that we have the the security of our, our food supply because right. a lot of places in the world don't have that. Oh man, this this could be a possible bloop bloop situation right here, guys. I might have to leave the camera here. Hold on a second. Well, listen, listen. Right now, I'm a little distracted. So, so if Fred comes up and takes a whack at me, I'm, I'm you know, Mo, Larry, and Curly back in the days, the three stooges, just go straight to the eyes. That's that's the that's the first go to. But sex, sex, second thing, I'd say get off my lawn. Yeah. And if he doesn't, then, uh, then I guess I'll be on the news. Yeah, we have alligators in South Arkansas, but we don't have them in North Arkansas. So. How long have you been watching the show? Uh, oh, uh, about a year and a half, two years, something like that. And you're, as long as you, yeah, 
and you're a boater you're well yeah it's uh it's really good uh, you know about four years ago my wife and i started going if we're not out on the lake ourselves if we come in early on a saturday evening we go and get some fast food and we drive and we park over by the uh boat ramp to watch the show of people coming in and watching their boats it, it's great and i told my wife then i said man somebody should put this on tv and lo and behold you've done it you know <laughs> listen i i i created a chip show revolution throughout the nation because there's a lot of people now filming at boat ramps and uh, yeah. and that's only going to grow right um yeah. So, and listen, uh, ultimately everybody has their own style and um, I'm very big on creating a, a community with, oh, look at that. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Dude, what? Do you see that? Yeah. Hold guys, guys, guys. What, 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 what just happened to you, man? A what? lizard was walking on water, running on one top Running of on water. Oh my goodness, I have never, I never would have thought that that was even possible. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what the? Dude, guys, you know we have these invasive iguanas over here in Miami. And this lizard literally was walking on water. How the hell did that thing just do that? Wow. I could clearly clear. I could clearly hear it too. You heard uh, that over the space. Yeah, it was clear as day. Oh my goodness! You, no, 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 no. It, it was so impressive to see. You saw the whole thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! I couldn't believe it either, guys. Like, listen, you, look. I, I just learned something. Could you imagine a crocodile walking on water like <laughs> running like that? That's my next dream, guys. Wait for it. Uh, wait for Fred. Wait for Fred to come across and get you. I, I listen. <laughs> I, I, I will be blessed and honored to have Fred let me dodge him uh, because I haven't <laughs> seen him that long. So, oh boy, hold on, guys. Wait a second. I hate to, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's something going on over here. What do you think is going on here? I think we got to go further back, baby. But do we lose the boat and the truck? All right, so. <laughs> We just got this yesterday. Well, Alfred, Alfred, I'm going I'm to sign off now. I've got to go hit the lake myself. Well, listen, so, let uh, everybody know in Arkansas. Tell them, listen, just look at them deep in the eye and be like, you know what, you're a chit show and get off my lawn. And they're, and they're not going to know what you just said, but then they'll eventually go, oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> wow. Okay, Alfred, uh, you have uh, a great day. Uh, all right, thanks for stepping up, guys. Steve over here, guys, over here on Chip Cho uh, on Twitter. So, all right, uh, guys, if you're in the actual stream in the comments section of YouTube and you want to talk on Twitter, just type in Alfred Chip Cho and you'll be able to come out. Uh, just ask uh, for the microphone to speak and you can go ahead and speak with us. We're over here, we're live on Twitter and we're also live on uh, on YouTube. So the way that you can speak and talk is through. And the, and if you go to Twitter, it's Alfred Chitcho. So type in on the, the search bar, Alfred Chitcho. And then, you know, subscribe or, or whatever to my channel or follow. And then just ask to speak. Just There's a mic option, just ask to speak and Salty will bring you up. Dude, now I'm on edge. I'm talking about Fred. Um, I'm talking about Fred. After we're talking about Fred, I see a damn lizard walking on water. What the hell? What else is going to happen today? Gee, man, look at this. Look at this car right here. This is this is what we would call an opportunity. Look at that car right there. Low tide. Low, low tide is here. Little sea fox coming through.
Yeah. If you want a water or a Gatorade, there's waters in the deep. No, no, no. Get in that thing. Get, get, get it from in there. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you're gonna go to Black Point Grill now in a little bit, or something, or just gonna go back home? What boat is it you're gonna be on? Sailor's Choice. Sailor's Choice. Wait, I, I've been on that boat. It's a, it's a party boat. Out of so Marathon? No, it's out of Key Largo. I've been on that boat. Yeah, you'll, you'll catch fish. Yeah, you'll catch fish. Going during the day or at night? Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. But you don't want the day to be so perfect either because then you won't catch fish. Yeah, yeah, you, you want to catch fish. So... Well, listen, um, we'll, we'll have your dad in, in, in our prayers. Thank you. Thank and you know what, guys? Um, I'm losing my little boxer, too, man. I have a boxer. Yeah. She, um, she listen, I've, I've always had boxers uh, as far as the species of dogs that I like to have. Um, and my boxer, we've always, they've, they've all always at some point had tumors or cancer of tumors and stuff like that. But they're always, yes, but they're always visible. This one is nine years old, going on 10. She's never had anything visible. So I'm like, yo, there's something different about this boxer. Come to find out she has a tumor in her brain now. So she's, she's, she, she's gone, she's, she's blind right now. Like, uh, so we're doing everything possible to make her as comfortable as possible. But, you know, I had to kind of break it into the family and kind of let them know, hey, listen, you know, I don't want her to suffer in any way. At some point, we're going to have to do something. But, uh, yeah, it's just sad because it's like a part of the family, right? It is a family. Hey, no, that's a part of your family. The bubbles in the water? Um, probably the manatee. Uh, what's up? De deplorable is ready to speak to you, I believe. <laughs> a deplorable? Yeah. Are you a deplorable? Uh, yeah, I'm a deplorable. <laughs> you already got told me. You guys really exist? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's going on? Where are you from? Uh, so I'm in um, a little place called White Lake, North Carolina. North and, uh, Carolina. We, and we got a little marina that we go up there and sit on Saturday afternoons and Sunday afternoons and laugh, laugh, laugh. Love your show. Are you a Bible-hugging deplorable? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a Bible hugging deplorable, but I, I'm a Christian. I, 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 I'm just joking because that was also yeah. a term that was talked about when, when that whole deplorable stuff was talking about and clenching your guns and all that crazy stuff, right? Which, oh, which yeah. you, you know, look, um, and that that's goes, goes back to what I was talking about earlier in, in, the, in the chat is that, you know, every place in the United States is different. Like, yep. like uh, you know, I have right now friends that are in uh, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, and they're like, man, you guys should have come with us. It's been awesome, da, da, da. And now you're saying that you're in a small town in North Carolina, and, um, and everybody's a little bit different. I, I'll tell you one of, the things, one of the things that really weirded me out about North Carolina, I remember we were staying in, uh, in a cabin up there at one point, and I needed some firewood, and I see a sign that says firewood. Look who's here, look who's here. This, guys, all right, all right, listen up, listen up, guys. This is one of the offspring of Bata Barbie. That's one of her offspring. So Bata Barbie might be close by. I'm surprised that she's letting him wander. Dude, I, I can't wait to see Fred just go ape town on one of these ducks. I'm sorry, I mean, I mean, did I, did I just think out loud? Yeah, hey, I'm getting out of here. Hey, it was really nice seeing you again, Alfred. You keep it uh, uh, entertainer of the year, man. Thank you, bro. All thank right. you so much. Guys, G-Man from Texas is going to get out of here. Um, hey. Alfred, love your ship. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. White Lake is a little town that's uh, south of Fayetteville, in between Fayetteville and Wilmington. So look at uh, uh, so Lake. So Fayetteville, I remember Fayetteville very well. I lost my... my wallet in Fayetteville, North Carolina, on one of our travels. And, you know, um, my, my, my wife said, you messed up again. 
and it actually fell it fell in uh in the back of a bed on uh one of the you know hotels that we were in it was probably like maybe like a hampton inn or something well long story short a year later i get mail from fayetteville north carolina huh. and and it was my wallet a year a, a year later so that means they clean that room deep clean <laughs> once a year i mean I don't know if it was a Hampton Inn, guys. I, I'm just saying it was, a, it was like one of those type of hotels. It was just like, you know, on the side of the road, you did you want to get some rest. And, but, uh, but yeah, I never, I never found it. But Vietnam. <laughs> well, listen, what I was going to say earlier before I was interrupted by myself, because I do that to myself a lot. Um, I went in, in North Carolina and all of a sudden I needed some firewood. And um, there was kind of like a little section out there on the side of some property it says firewood twenty dollars so i pull up and i don't see anybody there so i get off the car i go up to the to the little firewood section and i'm like where is there somebody and it says if you want firewood call this number so i call the number and i said hey um you know i'm looking for some firewood do you have somebody here that can sell it to me they're like just get whatever you want you know it's twenty dollars for a bush or whatever they call it and um put the twenty dollars under the rock I, I said, what? Yeah, no, I understand. So, right, no. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I said the honor system, right? Yes. So, so, so I was obviously in Miami. You put twenty dollar under any rock, somebody's gonna say, "What? Well, let's go get some crack." I mean, no, they're they're gonna they <laughs> no, they're gonna. They're gonna just take that twenty dollars, right? Um, yep. So, so then I was, then I got, I was like, wow, I was like, this is wild. How they, you know, they honor and they trust each other, yada yada. And then my, I think brother-in-law that was with me, they're like, no, nah, dude, there's a guy over some mountain somewhere with a shotgun waiting for you to take that thing and not put the rock with binoculars. You're done. Just need the money there. Let's go. <laughs> so, but. Uh, yeah, and then, and then you talk to the people that were like, hey, do you got to lock your doors? And they're like, oh, no, I, I, I don't think we've ever locked our doors, you know? So, right. so you know, look, um, every, everywhere in the world is a little different. And, uh, you know, in big cities, you can't, re regrettably, you can't kind of uh, do certain things like that just because it's, you know, it's a little bit more risky than it will be in a rural area, right? Right. Well, look, man, keep up the good work with the Chit Show. I enjoy watching it. The family watches it. We uh, got YouTube on the, you know, the TV and watch it all the time. So keep well, up the good work. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, North Carolina in the house, guys. Let me go ahead and yes, check sir. out this. Uh, don't call me, sir. What are, you, what are you doing calling me, sir? There was such a great call from North Carolina, and you called me, sir. Oh, no, yeah. what is this? All right, take care, buddy. Take care. <laughs> All right, guys. Hold on. Let me see the chat. Hold on. Let me see what's going on here on the chat. Um, dude, is this right? Does this say that we have two likes? Oh, oh, no, there's. I disagree. There's no way that we only have two likes on this stream. Can somebody type in on the chat real quick what I how many how many uh, likes we have on this uh, stream? Guys, if you ju just came in, guys, my name is Alfred Montaner. We're live at the boat ramp. Oh man, this guy's this guy's in deep, dude. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be a chit show later, 100 percent Oh no! Oh no! Wait for it. Man, that guy's that guy's risking it all, dude. Hold on guys. We're waiting for a bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. No, maybe not now. Maybe on the way back. 420. There's 420 people right now in the stream. No, I think that's the likes. You've got like you've got almost a thousand in the stream. Oh, so li listen, that that's not terrible. I mean, I I've been I've been struggling to get a lot of likes lately. Um, and then I was asking AliX. I was like, do they really hate me? And they're like, no, dude. You just don't ask them. You gotta ask them. Just tell them. It's like, hey, just tell them to like. Just stop watching the video real quick and like the damn video. And then you'll see they'll press the like button. All right, this guy's finally started. This guy, last time I filmed over here, he had one engine out. And he still 
and he still docked it like a boss. Let's see, he's only got starboard engine on right now too. Let's see. So far we're doing pretty good with the live stream. Seems pretty clear. I guess you can't complain, right? Let's see what's going on here, guys. Oh, there it is. There it is. The victim that Captain Lance was telling us about. They barely had just made it. Oh man, we got a two for one. We know Captain Lance is not gonna mess up. And look, 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 oh, hold on. I'll go back to Captain Lance now, but look at this thing. Wow, what a beauty. Look at Captain Lance, guys. The most famous turbo captain in the world, in the universe. Look at this, look at this. It's almost like he's doing like a commercial here for Tobo US. I think they told him to go to the other one. Let's see if this guy has both of his... Uh, Every time I see these guys from uh, Tobo US or CTO bring people back in, it's always amazing. It's just so cool to see somebody that really knows what they're doing. All right, so look, the, there are trucks and boats still coming in. So, so apparently the, the the ramp is not as full as I, I thought. It's it's noon right now, guys. Over here, it's if you're watching from from across the pond or somewhere else. Around three o'clock, this is a section that we call Chicho Live right here. This section here is what we call Chicho Live, and Chicho Live right now has nobody. Well, I'm, I'm lying. There's some people right there hiding in the corner. They're right there hiding. Look, somebody had left the uh, the water going here. Typically when the water's there like that, the manatee will come. I don't know, we'll see if the man manatee bobs her head. Let me check out the chat. Let's see if uh, Captain Lance has already another one. And another one! That was quick. It's early, huh? Good, uh, Captain. We're live on YouTube. So, uh, a lot of people out there right now? Yeah. Yeah. How's, how have things been over here? Pretty busy? Not really. I've been sick, so I haven't been around for the past, like, week and a half that much. Did you catch a Rona or just regular, regular sick? I didn't get tested, but I think so. You think so? Yeah. yeah. It's better to have it already out of the system and, you know? Right. Yeah. Just dive in the ocean and... and yeah. Thursday and Friday. Otherwise, it's pretty slow. You haven't seen the croc or anything? No, but I've seen, I know he's still around because I've seen people posting videos of him. Mostly down by the bridge is what I've seen. 
Yeah, but you see, I don't know if it's real or not. Like, if those are old videos. Yeah, I, I mean, they put them up as if they're new. But yeah, yeah, but... I haven't seen it. Listen, um, until I see that black pole in the background, yeah. I want to see those poles. These poles right here. These right here. And I want to see him with those poles. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, listen, go, go do your thing, Captain, Captain Lance, guys. The most famous towboat captain in the world, guys. And uh, towboat US, I'll tell you guys, and I said it now and I'll say it again, guys. It's the cheapest insurance you can have on the water. It's the best peace of mind, you know? You just go ahead and call towboat US, channel 16, and say, hey, I'm broken down in this area. Here are my GPS coordinates. What's up, uh, Salty? 24 7 Hustler is uh, ready to talk to you, I believe. What's up, Hustler? Hustler, you there? What's going on, Alfred? What's going on, man? Are you really a Hustler 24-7, or is this like a part-time thing? Yeah, right now we're taking a break, so we call it, you know, 23 Today is 23-7? I don't want to watch this. I just put you on the spot. You're like, damn! All right, guys, look. I don't know if you've been hustler. I don't know if you've been listening to the stream long enough, but this is kind of like the pit bull that I, one of these pit bulls, but bigger, that got eaten by the crocodile in my dream. But it was it was a dream, guys. You have to go back into the beginning of the stream. I was talking about it. It was kind of I had the most vivid dream last night. I had to talk about it, and I thought maybe it was an omen that that we'll see for the crocodile later here, but. Uh, but yeah, that, that was kind of like uh, the do dog, but it was a bigger dog and they tried to attack a crocodile. And long story short, the crocodile took out the damn dog. But the dog was trying to fight back until, you know how dogs do, they act all crazy until they get like bit in half and they go ah, ah, ah. So, so what's up, Hustler? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm from Lauderdale, uh, 954. So, so you're representing uh, down south, uh, South Florida over here. Yeah, man, you know, you know what's crazy, you know, I always thought hollow where the chicho is at. I recently found your channel and I was like, holy shit, this is fucking, Black Boy is fucking retarded. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> try, 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 try not to say bad words because we're live on YouTube and I don't want YouTube to kind of like demonetize the video. But yes, Black Point is a chit show. And, um, and so, so, so you... Shit, shoot, I've done some, some, uh, a lot of uh, filming in the New River. Um, if you type in New River Boats, I've uh, filmed over there. And let me tell you something. Um, Fort Lauderdale has some badass boats. Whiskey Creek is over there as well. Yeah, I got to look for your Fort Lauderdale videos because I don't... Yeah, I don't think I've I've only seen I've seen you've done a couple I've seen some uh, some of the hollow stuff you've done and I've seen mainly the black one video so I have uh, to go back uh, through. Okay, so so here's the thing. You go to the play the playlist on my channel. I try to break it down for you based on what you want to do. So if you want to visit Miami and you want to know what to do and you then you go watch my walking tour playlist of Miami. If you want to see Chicho, I have a playlist of just Chicho videos. If you want to see Hallover, I have a playlist of Hallover videos. The Sunk Verado series. A lot of people haven't seen the Sunk Verado series, and that, that series was crazy. I mean, that very first video when that engine fell off while I was going 60, 70 miles an hour, and an engine falls off. Yeah, it fell off. That's an impressive video. And what's more impressive is when we get the footage of the engine out of 100 feet of water, which is another amazing video. But a lot of people haven't seen those videos in my channel. These guys, guys, three days later, finally came out. They made it. But I haven't seen that. I'm going to have to go look it up. I, was, I saw the, um, I know you did the, you helped the guy with restoration. I saw that. I guess the overnight, the overnight docking on the platform. Which one? Which one? Which platform? It was, uh, you filmed the whole recovery. Oh, so, so yes, there, there was, there was a couple of recoveries. We've done a dinghy uh, restoration of a, of a small dinghy that was upside down. We did uh, one, we did a, we, we fixed uh, two 300 Verados here at the boat ramp. Wow, this guy just came out and he's already having a chicha. Look at this, look at this hustler, hold on, hold on. You see, you gotta, you gotta spot this, you gotta spot this. Look at this, look at this. 
this is when your chick goes, you, this wasn't fun, babe. This really wasn't fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like I tell my wife, I go, let's go camping. She's like, for what? For what? <laughs> she, there's a saying in Spanish, pasar trabajo. She goes, why do I want to go ahead and make my life harder? And, <laughs> And I'm like, but you know, I, I love the outdoors, right? I'm always outdoors. I'll go home. I'll, I'll build a fire in Miami and it's 100 degrees outside. And she's looking at me like, you're such a weird guy. But um, it's just everywhere all different, you know? So she's my opposite. And uh, I love her to death because she keeps me engaged. Yesterday she was in my studio and uh, she needed uh, some internet. And, and she, she sees, she sees how I have everything organized in my own crazy way in my studio. She goes, oh my God, this is like the way your brain works. <laughs> and, and, and her Virgo ass, you know, Virgos are like really everything. It has to be like color coordinated and, you know, <laughs> she's like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I gotta, I gotta get out of this place. So, but that's good, man. We, we, uh, we, we appreciate that the local love from Fort Lauderdale is uh do you follow me on instagram as well or no no i'm gonna start man my ins right. my instagram is pretty funny um because since i'm i'm not monetized or i don't even try to get monetized in there you know i'm a little edgier and uh and i like i, I kind of troll my audience a little bit but uh <laughs> it's it's pretty funny like i was trolling people to buy hats on my instagram and uh I don't know. It just whatever I think about out loud. It just, I guess it translates on camera. I guess kind of weird. <laughs> so, so do you watch this with your partner or your lady or what? What's the story? So you know, we, we've watched. You know, obviously, this is the first time I got on one of your lives. But um, you know, obviously, your other your other videos I watch with my lady. So. So look, I, I bet you, I bet you, out of the hundred and eighty nine videos that I've done of Chicho. You've seen maybe 30 of them, if that. Um, I mean, you're probably right. You're probably right. Well, but, but here's the thing. So, so, so that's why I tell people, go to the playlist and just start looking at the titles and stuff like that. They're, they're all different. Like sometimes when I get bored, I'll just go into one of my old videos and just remind myself of a moment that happened two years ago when we started this craziness. What is going on over here, dude? There's a lot of people over here making a scene. Um, so yeah, um, but people kind of just wait. They just wait. They're like, oh, I'm waiting for the new Chicho. But there's a lot of great Chicho videos that are evergreen, meaning they're timeless, that you'll enjoy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we got a fire going on here. Guys, there's a fire. There's a fire. There's a fire. Uh-oh. That's a fire. Oh, wow. That's a fire. Oh boy, something happened there, guys. She started screaming, oh, 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 oh. I don't know if you guys heard that. Maybe she thought it was a fire, I don't know. All right. Um, and yeah, you see that? That's the crazy thing about being live, right? Things materialize like that quick. Yeah, and this is real time. There, guys, there's probably maybe maybe a second or a second and a half delay um, over here um, from when I'm filming to when you're seeing. But she, she ran to, like, like and I've, that, that's actually happened here at the boat ramp. Um, there was a boat that caught on fire not too long ago, and we filmed that as well. Chicho in the house! We're live right now on YouTube. Thank you, man. These people are gonna put 675 in fuel right now. Like the people from Texas will say, bless their heart. So, so, so back to that. So you, so, oh boy. So you watch Typically, most people tell me they, they kind of just wind down at night and they'll say, let's see if Alfred's got a new video up. But what happens is you guys get the recommendation of a video 
and it doesn't always yeah. it, it doesn't you see what happens is if it's if it's recommended it doesn't necessarily mean that that's an active or the newest video so if you really want to know what I'm kind of doing doing just always go to the video section of the channel like go press the offer mountain again to my channel and then look at the video section the very top video is always the newest one and uh, gotcha. and you can kind of see the most relevant like somebody was like oh this is one of those three months video and and it was me filming iCast two days ago and they they think that it's an old video and it, know, it was two, two days thumbnail. ago you know you see the thing on the thumbnail is oh I gotta see <laughs> oh, listen. The next you get like three other ones recommended, and you're like, "Oh, I gotta see this one." <laughs> you know, so listen. I, I, yeah, I haven't actually looked at, like you said, I haven't looked at the actual playlist yet. So yeah, I'm gonna listen. Trust me when I tell you, we got some comp compilations videos as well that are amazing. There's just so much going on, right? And uh, the chicho, what, what makes the chicho interesting is it's always something different. You never know what's going what's gonna to be happening. And the, and the fact that the people come and they engage me uh, with me when they come back, it's, it's fun, right? It's fun for me. It's fun for them. Look, when I go live, I take a huge risk because people know that I'm live. Um, so, and, and, I, and listen, I'm good. I mean, somebody right now throws a sinker at me, I'll dodge it. I'll be like, miss me, bitch. No. You, know, you, you, you built a community, man. You got a lot of love. So I mean, you got a lot, of, a lot of love everywhere. I'm watching the chat. I mean, you got people worldwide. You got a lot of love, man. Well, listen. You know what? You have to earn that love, right? So, so you know, when when I when I go out of my way to talk to people and meet people and all that stuff, um, for me, that's uh, that's why I build the community that I that I do. Oh man, this guy, this guy's he's he's like, what's going on here? Something's not right here. This is. <laughs> They're like, just, just hold this. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's. <laughs> look, 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 look. This is the captain of the boat. Look at the captain of the boat. He's like, yeah, I know I'm on the chit show. Wait for it. <laughs> All right, you think uh, Cliff is watching right now, or is that Cliff? Cliff Berry Inc. So yeah, the, the community aspect is important for me, you know? Um, and I, I die laughing just reading the comment section. So, so, so a lot of people in the comment section already know each other in the comment section. They're like, what's up, what, what you doing? Like, look, Vinny Pots and Pans gave G-Man, who was actually behind me a little while ago, a hat. And um, G-Man was in Texas when that happened. And then he was here, coincidentally, for, you know, to take care of his old man. So. But yeah, man, I'm glad you came through, and uh, we're we're gonna be here. But we're gonna be here, and, and this afternoon should be, this afternoon I think it's gonna get kind of wild. Ho hopefully, the King. Espérate, dónde, dónde, cómo? Qué escalado eres? He said, he said, he said in Spanish, "Film him, film him." This is him and his mistress. But it's obviously a joke, guys. It's obviously a joke. That's not his mistress. That's his, that's his side chick. It's different. <laughs> Wait for it! Uh, the double trouble. I thought the double trouble was on fire, but it wasn't. <laughs> that would have been double. <laughs> <laughs> that that would have been, been triple trouble. <laughs> but then, then I was like, oh, there are two strokes. That's what the problem was. No, but she ran off the boat. She was like, oh my God. But it did smell like fire though. It did. It did smell like fire for a minute there. Um, Cause if you look at the wind, it's kind of, kind of blowing this way, right? Um, so I don't know. So I, I mean, if, I don't know. Maybe you throw a nice, nice gassy fart there. I might smell it. Who knows? Ah, uh, what's up, man? Damn, I wonder. Are these guys working or what? What are they doing? Let me go check out the chat. Let me see who's in the chat, guys. Hey, I'm 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 doing Chicho Interactive, guys. Alfred Mountain here at Black Point Marina. We're here on the stream. We got a thousand uh, people watching the stream. It was a two-stroke, guys. I'm looking at the, some of the things. We need appearance from the Crusher. The Crusher. Oh, I love the Crusher, guys. 
The Crusher, guys. The Crusher is the Crusher. Um, if you have not seen the Crusher video, look at that. I bet you there's a good 600 people that have not typed in the Crusher. Just look at the Crusher video on uh, YouTube and you're going you're gonna to see the Crusher. Shout me out says Bricks and Gamer. What's up, Bricks? Um, what's up, bro? We're here. We're here. Walter was in the stream a little while ago doing Chicho Interactive over here on Twitter. So Chicho Interactive, guys, we're on Twitter right now and we have a space. That's what it's called, a space when we talk on Twitter. And, um, and then if you want to talk, it's Alfred Chicho on Twitter and then you can go ahead and tell us where you're from and what you got going on and I don't know it's almost like a, like a party line right uh oh let's see let's see let's see guys let's see if we got Got the door open. He doesn't like his mirrors. Does the Chevy go bloop, bloop, bloop? That's the question, guys. Bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Listen, if it's not a Jeep, it's not going to go bloop, 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 bloop. If it's not a Jeep and it goes bloop, 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 it's an insurance job. At Black Point. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. We got some pretty sketchy uh, videos on my channel when it comes to bloop, bloop, bloops. Let's see, uh, Ariana, Baron, watch out for the horse flies. There, that horse fly was here a little while ago, Ariana. It was uh, making a scene. There's one, uh, not too long ago, I came also, me and my wife, we came, actually one of the weekends that I didn't film and I went to Black Point with her and we had some, uh, we had some dinner. Somebody actually bought me a beer um, while I was there. And I was, I was telling my wife, I don't know where that came from, but somebody just bought me a beer. Because, uh, but we were there, and um, the noceums were pretty bad. So, but the amazing people at uh, Black Point Grill, undisclosed, I can't say who it was, but they said, uh, you know, in the corner right here on the bottom drawer, if you politely open the drawer, you might see some uh, mosquito repellent so before you know it that thing was like passed around <laughs> like an old soap bar in a jail uh, all throughout the whole black point grill was the funniest thing ever everybody's like yeah hey, can i get a hit can i get a hit yeah how much you got <laughs> so it was pretty funny so yeah if you come at night definitely try to bring some repellent just in case especially in the summer right when it's colder it's not so bad all right, let me see. Somebody made a question about a hat. Um, missed it. Uh, any hats left? Yes, uh, Bruce. I, well, I don't know. I don't know if anybody has bought anything while we've been streaming. But luxury rib tenders at g uh, at luxuryribtenders.com, and in the store section, you'll be able to see the Chicho hats. And. Um, I gave Vinny Pots and Pans hat to G-Man a little while ago, and uh, Vinny has another one that uh, he said to give out too, so, but I want him to determine that. I don't want to determine that because those are his. What's up, guys? Chicho in the house. We're live on YouTube right now. You guys got it all. Two girls, twins in the front. Son gemelo. The girls are twins? Yeah. Awesome. So they got twin twin girls and a little boy. That's awesome. It would probably be pretty cool to have a twin, huh? All right, something tells me Something tells me that this boat here, I don't know. I don't know why they're doing that here with this Cliff Berry boat, but I don't know. Comment below, guys. 
Cliff, give, give us a call. Let us know what you're doing here. I mean, I'm trying to figure this out, dude. Are you trying to get like commercial time here? Free, free commercial time? Let me look him up. Cliff Berry, Inc. It's a pretty slick move, actually. It is. It's brilliant. I, I, uh, Melanie, Melanie, we need Fred now, says, uh, Walter, Stephen, out for one, you're going to get a nice boat. Um, Stephen, I have a rib boat and, um, I just have not gone on, on, on it. And, uh, I will be going out on my regular boat. I, I normally like going out on my regular boat when, on my inflatable, my rigid inflatable when it's cooler. Right. And, um. And I still, I still owe people some of my, some of my friends, my time, right? That we are going to go fishing on their boats, but I just haven't had time, guys. And I'm going to be traveling so soon in the next couple of weeks. So, but maybe when I get back and it gets a little cooler, you'll start seeing some rib fishing videos and we'll do some more rib fishing and, cause I like to fish, right? But it's, it's I, I don't like to go out there when it's rough and uh, when it's really, really hot. It's, I don't know. I, I've done it so much that it's. It's not fun for me anymore. But check out check out my uh, rib fishing playlist if you want to see a lot of uh, cool fishing videos and funny. They're pretty funny. Um, with my friend Baby Fish Killer, F Baby Fish Killer is like number one peacock uh, bass angler over here. He's got the state record, and um, he's my best friend. Well, until yesterday, I don't know. I gotta ask him, are we still friends? Nah, bro, I don't know you. You think you're famous. Hi, bro, why? I don't know, baby fish killer. Let's we'll see. You met my brother at Bank of America. Oh, okay, okay, I know who you're talking about, Ariana. So I, I think it's one of the Bank of Americas. Well, I'm not gonna out your brother, but yeah, that was interesting. Um, I think he works at one of them. And uh, damn it, this damn horse fly just got me, bro. Fudge! It got me right next to my ankle. Me cago en tu madre, bro. Those things hurt too. Salty, can you can you put in? Um, in the actual chat how they go on twitter to to go into the spaces what's going on guys bro they're laughing at me because this horse fly is, is attacking me hold on guys hold on i gotta put everything down i gotta i gotta start going swatting on these mother fudgers come on come on it's like they know when you're positioned to smash slam them they 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 leave He got me twice too, bro. He went from one leg to the next. Oh look, Cliff. He's out. Cliff Berry ain't guys. Oh man. Who do who do I who do I watch? Alright, so it's kinda early to be honest with you for the chit chill to be going on. I wouldn't have expected this to be so busy at this time. I wonder what these guys do. They probably push a barge or something, a small small barge or, or something. Because it's an aluminum boat. Oh boy. We might get a two for one here, guys. Wait for it, I might have to go further. Damn it. And I, I'm here scratching myself like a crackhead in the corner, dude. This damn horse fly is making a scene. Oh, I swear if I get him, bro, he's gonna. Oh, he's going straight to the to the truck. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to do telepathy with the damn uh, horsefly. See if I can go ahead and 
negotiate a deal here or something with this guy. Holy smack. Look, we got a 32 Carrera coming out too. Now. This is um, not a step haul though. This is just a standard Carrera. Step haul are the new ones. And if you just joined the screen, uh, stream, guys, Eddie from Sea Hunter just passed through, and I told him I want to do a walk uh, of the factory at Sea Hunter. And he said, come next week. So you guys heard it on here. It's a long stream. You have to go back, but I have proof. We will have documented proof here that Eddie from Sea Hunter has said, yeah, next week, come. So that'll be good. I can't wait to show you guys Sea Hunter. Sea Hunter is here in Princeton. Um, which is maybe 10, 15 minutes away from here. And they got that 46 that's uh, a cat that's badass. I think it's a Michael, Pe it's a Michael Peters design. I believe your better half has just entered the chat. Uh-oh. All right, guys. Everybody be on your best behavior. Mrs. Montaner is in here. We have the realtor has entered the room. Uh-oh. All right, guys. It's time to end the stream. Alfred Montaner, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ah! What's up, baby? Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me uh, hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's let's make this weird. Wait for it. Hello. Uh, love. Why so, are you so, weird? Somebody, somebody just hacked your account. They're inside the chat. Yeah. I'm serious. Did somebody just enter right now in the comment section? Okay. So, um, I know it's kind of loud right now because this guy is making a scene over here, but um, I wanted to give you the opportunity to tell everybody that's watching that you're a realtor now. And uh, <laughs> You've told them plenty. You've told them plenty? I've told them plenty? Oh, you have, yeah. Well, listen. I've been, yeah. telling, I've been telling people that I have hats, they still don't know, and I've said it plenty also, and people don't know. You gotta, you gotta understand that not everybody hears and sees every video I do. Your boy took my car again. <laughs> okay guys, so here's the backdrop. Um, I don't know, should we even comment about this? You think you'll, you'll get a little bit uh, hurt? <laughs> you think you'll get hurt? If... All right, so, so Aiden is, has turned 16, and what, what has happened to your car, babe? Just, just explain the evolution of your car. He has stolen it, little by little. Yeah, but what has he done to it? Like, name all the things that he's done to it. <sighs> What's that? That print's called? Oh, the, the carbon fiber print? Yeah, there's carbon fiber everywhere now. Everywhere. What else did he do? He put tints? He put really dark tints. And those little side things, I don't even know what they're called. So my wife's car, I was embarrassed to drive it the other day because I was like, damn, this thing is too hood. <laughs> so if you see the hoodiest realtor on the road. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Thanks to Aiden Montaner, guys. All he wanted was to drive the car and somehow, some way, he's weaseled into trying to own my wife's car. So um, when, when, are they, when is he going to put the drop-down Dayton's on the car and hydraulics? <laughs> Probably tomorrow. <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh my goodness. I haven't seen him, man. Oh. I don't know. We gotta find him. So, so yeah, I, look, I think he's just excited about being 16 and being able to actually drive a car, and we all get it, right? But I, I, I had a Starbucks run now since he was taking my car anyways. I made him get me food. Well, I, I guess that's the only good thing about having a teenager that has access to a car now, right? That I guess. hey, go bring your dad food now. Now instead of you having to bring me food, you, you can be like, oh, go take your dad something, you know, or go go visit your dad or go hang out. So here's what he did he, visit you. He wants to go to his friend's house. He doesn't care about you. Well, you know what he did say, though? He did ask me the other day. Look, somebody was asking right now in the chat if I have a boat. And I said, yes, I have a boat. And, um, and what Aiden wants to do, Aiden wants to go camping with his friends. Look at, look, at the, look at the manatee. The manatee's right there in the middle of the thing. He wants to go with his friends to Boca Chita, and he wants to go camping. So I, t I told him that 
Yeah, before before the summer's over, before we, they go back to school, I'll take him and his friends, if their parents allow us, and we'll kind of show them what the people that are leaving here do to go camping over there at Boca Chita. And I know that you wouldn't come, babe, because you just don't like that. But you're invited and you're more than welcome. Maybe, Not maybe. To the million mosquitoes. I know, babe, but do it for do it for the children. I've done plenty for the children. I'm good. All right. Well, you know, somehow, some way, I gotta get another RV, and I gotta take you camping again. All right. Well. All right. So we had a couple of issues camping. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So, so one of the biggest problems that I had camping one time. Do I tell the story, babe, or no? I don't know. It's gross. <laughs> it's, gro I don't know. it's gross. Guys, it was, it was, I was, I was the worst, the worst person that you can actually camp next to. Oh, we got to get off my lawn. So I don't know what happened. Somehow, some way, I was setting up the sewage of this camper one time. <laughs> I just. You found out who had the worst job in the world. Yes. <laughs> that guy did have the worst job. Well, listen, um, <laughs> I, I laugh <laughs> because the way the guy goes, sir, I hate to say this, but, but the, the club has politely asked you to leave the resort. <laughs> so, so what happened is somehow, I don't know what happened, guys. I must have, in the, in the process of connecting everything fast, the sewage line disconnected and sewage just started going everywhere <laughs> and I couldn't get into the valve and then there was a drop off to my neighbor which was to the right <laughs> you know <laughs> these RV people they go to the extremes dude they have all of everything nice and perfect <laughs> so it really does flow downstream <laughs> So yes, yes, but 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 somehow some some way the, the guy who works that job, the guy, the guy looked at me like he literally said FML like like ten times. When the guy told me to leave, when he he had to come back and be nice and tell me to leave nicely. I was like, look, man, I get it. I'll, I'll, I'll do everything in my power. If you want, I can clean up on the, the other side of my neighbor. And the other person didn't even want to see me. <laughs> they just wanted their whole trip to be uh, paid for. But uh, <laughs> so, you know, I'm very open and my wife is very like, please uh, don't embarrass me. <laughs> so needless to say, I think that was one of our last camping moments, right, babe? Probably, it was a river of shit. <laughs> and then that exploded on him too, the poor man. Yeah, it was, it, it, it was bad, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, love, well, thank you for joining us. Um, I'm doing uh, Chicho Interactive, you know, I don't know if you, you just got into the stream, but I'm talking to people on Twitter. So, leave it low! Um, so do you want to give your email out just in case maybe you got somebody that's interested in uh, buying a house when the crash comes over here to South Florida? <laughs> when the crash comes, The crash is coming. I'm telling you, I mean, you can be a realtor, you can be anything, but there's going to be a crash in real estate, like 100%. I think there's going to be an opportunity to buy real estate at some point. So I want, and I want you to sell those. those. Walter, if I get that waterfront for 300K. The waterfront for 300, Walter? Yeah. 300K, listen, um... I don't know if it's going to get to 300k, but I, I'm, I'm sure we're going to see some 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 nice discounts in the in the next year or two. So, um, you want to give out your email? Give out your email. I just put it on the thing. Oh, you, okay. So, guys, she. Uh, it's not she, weird, she, but whatever. Okay, name. it's uh, what 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 email did you give? My name at Gmail. Okay, um, Yaima Montaner at Gmail dot com guys if you want some information or are looking for property over here in south florida leave it low that's it how was it good hey you're here you're back man you're good all right um 
he he um i think if i'm not mistaken i think this is this is one of the winners of the ps5 remember the ps5 that we gave away in uh christmas babe yeah i think you're, this is, you're requesting gas money who he steals my car what he he wants gas money he wants gas money <laughs> But didn't he just say he filled up your car like two days ago and was happy about it? Yeah, okay. So here's the thing, right? And this is this is the problem that so we've had almost five dollar gas here in the last month and a half or whatever back, and all of a sudden now it's like four thirty nine and people are happy about that. And now being sixteen, that's where you're used to, right? So you think that that's the new normal. But it's not. Four forty nine sucks when it comes to fuel, right? Um, so let them figure it out. Tell them, hey, listen, ask your friends and, uh, <laughs> take off the Dayton's and the hydraulics from my car, please. <laughs> I have a showing tomorrow. <laughs> I know, and he wants to put stars on the ceiling and the roof. I don't even know what that is, but I'm scared. Babe, my suggestion just, just find a, find another car. Fi <laughs> find another car because I, I don't think, I think, I think you didn't stop it fast enough. And uh, that's it. I mean, like literally, you pulled up the other, day, you pulled up the other day, and I was like, yo, somebody's gonna shoot me, dude. And it was my wife. I was like, you, you rolled up on me. I was like, oh my god, what, what, what happened to this car, dude? All right, well, tell him, figure it out. Be mean to him. Um, he, he's not going to watch the channel and be like, hey, listen, bring my car back and go to BJ's and get discounted gas and figure it out. So what was it that he told me yesterday? He told me something that he just didn't know. And there's just, that's kind of like my fault too, right? There's certain, certain things that he asked me. Man, I, now I can't, I can't bring it. But I was like, he should have kind of known that. And, and then I'm like, all right, that's my fault. So <clears throat> I've been taking him on the boat. I've been doing some stuff, teaching him. I'm going to teach him how to, maybe maybe we'll bloop bloop your, your, your car. Well, her, his car. Well, his car now, I don't care. <laughs> hey, listen, that little Lexus. Does that carbon fiber float? I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but. There's plenty of it. Uh, yeah, I, I told Aiden yesterday. So we, we, we went, we had some, we had some lunch, me, Aiden, and Alyssa. Um, Alex was working, right, at the time? Yeah. So, so it was us four. And then <clears throat> I talked to Aiden. I said, Aiden, you know, there's a saying that says less is more. Because honestly, when, when I got into your car, Dimelo! <clears throat> Where are you guys going, man? Everything good? We're live on YouTube right now. So, so I told him, I said, listen, less is more. Because when I got, honestly, I got into your car, Bim, and I, I, I looked at you and I felt bad. <laughs> uh, and, and what's been happening, right? So I sit in the back seat now. My wife gets kind, kind of car sick in the back, so, and I'm fine, right? I'll sit in the back. I'm, I'm there just chilling, hanging out on my phone. And then I walk into that car and I look at that car when I actually drove on the way back. And I saw that carbon fiber and I was like, Aiden, less is more, dude. You got to. And then, then he tried to blame it on a friend. That what what was it that he was saying that that kind of his friend peer pressured him to do it or something? Yeah. His friend peer pressured him to be tacky. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. What are the odds of us calling him on three way? No, he's driving. I don't want to distract him. Oh no no! If he's driving, no, never mind. Then. Never mind. All right, love. Well, <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this stream shortly because I'm. Look, Alyssa, uh, you Gabby influenced him. What happened? Alyssa said on the chat, Juan and Gabby influenced him. She's stalking the chat, too. Oh, Alyssa, Alyssa's my 12-year-old, guys. All right. Um, she's my favorite, too. I'll say it openly. I'm not going to. Is that wrong, babe? <laughs> <laughs> the other two, the, the other two don't listen. They don't watch the chat. I don't know. Guys, don't, don't tell the other two what's going on. Alyssa, I love you, baby girl. You're the one. Oh, well, I got to keep Alyssa close. She has the same blood type as me. So if I go down, that's the one where I'm going to have uh, hooking me up. 
Does the stream look pretty clear on your end, babe? I, I turned it, I paused it though because of the voice. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I love you. I'll talk to you later then. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. I love you too. All right, guys. That's just, that's Mrs. Montaner over here. Um. Hey, hey uh, Briggs on the poll about 15 minutes ago, just to let you know. Hold on a second. Let me see who. Bricks and bricks. Let me see. Hold on a second, guys. Let me see. Bricks. So here, here's the backdrop. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Hold on. Here, here's what I got going on, guys. So, so I'm, I'm using two phones. This is my phone, Salty. Come, come over here. Talk to me here. Let me okay. see. Ready? Look over here. Ready? All right. Yep. So this is me talking here. And then now I uh, have the other phone that I'm actually looking at the stream. I'm doing the same thing. Because you're, you're watching the stream on the other, on the other end. I, and I've got the stream on my TV too. So I've got the chat in one phone. I've got the spaces in the other hand. And then I got the stream on TV. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude. Right. We've come a long way with technology, huh? Isn't that wild? Hold on, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying to get back into the chat. I want to see. I want to see who it was. Wow, there's so many. And I try to. I try to go back. To, uh, damn, I don't even see it. Yeah, it was a minute ago. You might want to. You know, I'm not going to interrupt the missus. No, 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 no. But you listen, I'm extremely thankful, and I want to see who it was, right? Yeah, bricks and, and bricks gaming, I think. Bricks and Bricks Gaming. Well, shout out to them because I don't see it. It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me scroll back that far. I wonder if I have to go back. Um, I don't know. We'll see. There's this is that Carrera guys that was coming out. Well, Bricks, I appreciate you, man. I I, I didn't get to see it uh, while I was talking to Mrs. Montaner, but uh, we were literally just telling you guys about our major chit show that happened. That was a real chit show, guys. Um, and I I apologize profusely to those people um pobrecito bro those people those people man listen <clears throat> i would have i would have accepted going to jail that day that's how embarrassed i was it was it was that bad and it, it was it was it was just an accident right dímelo donde van chilling hey we're 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 live on youtube right now bro Nice little Carrera, man. Beautiful boat, bro. Carrera 32 coming out. Um, Salty, have you ever done any kind of camping? I actually have, yes. But you've never had a uh, <laughs> an engaging <laughs> moment like that, right? No, no. I was not put in charge of uh, septic duty there, no. Well, so so here's the thing, right? Maybe a lot of people don't know the whole, the whole camping get bet, right? So we had a fifth wheel trailer, <clears throat> and uh, I would pull it around on an F two fifty, and uh, you know you have to hook up your sewage to like imagine a hole on the floor that's designed to be a sewer on the campground, and then you hook up your power, and uh, you know. <clears throat> Sometimes you just, you know, bring out your slides and do all the stuff. You do your setup. But most importantly, you want to make sure you back in straight and, you know, you don't hit things on the way in. But the sewage situation, a valve obviously broke. I pulled it too hard on the way back. You know, because sometimes, you know, things are like stuck. I don't know. <laughs> there was, there was a, what was the term that you guys were using last time in the chat? Um, a dingleberry stuck or something i don't know um but uh i pulled it too hard and that thing just went everywhere oh my goodness guys listen i will say if there was footage of that and they told me how for you have to spend five thousand dollars i i'd give my pinky to get that footage because it was just that funny it was it was and i felt so bad for the guy um that worked <laughs> That guy would have been on Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe for sure, 100%. Oh, what's your favorite outboard motor manufacturer? AJ, um, 
look, I wouldn't say I have a favorite. Um, I'm in the market now for an outboard and, and I'm considering Yamaha and Suzuki at this moment as my top two. Third, I would say would be Mercury. And um, fourth, I would say is Honda. And, but, but having that said, having that said, I think they're all very good right now. They're, they're very capable. They're all making good motors. But because of where I'm at, I think, um, I think Yamaha for service and reliability is probably, probably my best choice because of who I know that works on them. And, you know, like I, I, I don't want to put myself in a scenario where I'm somewhere and somebody can't or doesn't know how to work on my engine because there's a dealer that's 400 miles away from me or, or 100 miles away from me, wherever I'm at, you know, so. So that's my thing. And I did a very good video. I did a very good video on my channel. If you look it up, to type Alfred Montaner Outboard. I did a, a, a video on the Miami Boat Show a couple of years back with all the manufacturers. And I let them talk about their engines. And uh, you guys decide, right? Don't get something just because I like it for whatever reason I like it. I'm telling you why I like it, right? But if I were in somewhere that all they do is work on Evinrude's, then I'd get an Everwood because that's what that's who knows how to work them in that area. Oh look, look, they got the they got the manatee here. So hold on a second. Let me let me put breaking news on the thing because maybe my wife is um, still watching. Yeah, babe, I'm gonna get a motor for for the boat. Another one. And another one. Sorry. Damn. See, sometimes you just slip, guys. Um, Yamaha, Yamaha says, Chris, yeah, it's help for someone else to close stock parts. Parts is a problem right now, guys. Look, one of the things that I don't like about Yamaha right now is that the, the parts, right? So parts are a problem right now. They're, they're, they're not accessible and uh, that's a problem. So even certain motors are not, are not available. There's people that are sending me messages saying that they haven't been gotten their motor and it's been six, eight months, almost a year. So... You would have thought that that would have slowed down already. We got Leonard and Nate in the in the chat. Leonard, Nate, if you guys are in spaces, you guys want to talk and uh, join the chicho here live, let us know. So there's some people still coming in. Some people are still coming out. So it's, it's going to start getting good in a little bit, guys. And you know what happens, right? I get into chicho mode now in a little bit. So I'll, I'll, I'll change the camera. And uh, I'll start getting ready to start filming the chit show over here at the boat ramp. Suzuki is big around me. In, uh, is that Mississippi, Matt? You don't need parts for Yamaha? Well, you're right, right? They, they, they're very reliable, but, but sometimes you do need parts. And when you do, you want to have them accessible. Dude, we've had a pretty flawless stream, man. It's been clear as day, and uh, we've been able to talk to you guys. Salty, you have one of the old rib, fish rib fishing hats, right? I've got the original Chicho hat. Really? So you got the very, very first ones? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's the one I still rock. That's yeah, how long it's lasted me. Yep. So. Yeah, actually, I think you, you did a contest on Discord, and I think I came in second on that. You sent, <laughs> sent me one. It was pretty cool. So, so here's the thing, right? Um, right now, they're in Boat Center. I left... I left an undisclosed amount of hats. Boat Center over here on uh, 184th and US 1. I think they might be closing around 2, maybe, maybe, or maybe at 1. But there's a couple of them that I said. Uh... What's up, guys? Um, Miami Day police guys over here. It looks like they're doing some dive training. Um, so Boat Center has a couple of them, 
and I and I actually po posted that on my I posted that on my Instagram. So, but they might still have some. I don't know. I haven't talked to them to see how many they've given out, but there is a couple that were sent over there. So, there's a code word, and the code word is sold out. Okay. So if you go to Boat Center, and if you're in the area, go in, bother Will, or Phil, or Sean, and say, hey, listen, um, I want a Chicho hat, and the keyword, uh, the, the, the code word is sold out. So, let's see the manatee. The manatee's right there. As she comes, she comes up again. Yeah, it's good, man. I'm, I'm really thankful. A lot of, a lot of people have blessed me, because um, I know, listen, I know, I know, it's it's not the most affordable hat, right? But I, I regrettably I don't have the scale yet to get better pricing. And when I do, I will bring down the cost. But um, yeah, it is uh, it is awesome to see you guys wearing the hats, especially when I'm randomly and somebody says what's up to me or something and they're wearing a hat. That's just such a cool feeling. Does it say? Uh, Salty, how long we've been streaming? Uh, yeah, hold on, let me see. Uh, two hours, at we, least. Really? Wow. Wow. Um, that's pretty wild. So, I think I'm going to go and end this stream. But, but, the good thing is, yours truly is going to be here at the boat ramp. And um, we're going to film the chit show, guys. So... Now is when I start changing up the cameras. I'll start getting ready. People are going to start coming back. Look, look at this. What is this? Is this a bag? What is this? See, that sucks. Oh, it looks like a... Is that like a... Is it a milk crate? Oh, every time I see something like that, it sucks. All right, guys, so, so listen up. I want to thank you guys for joining the stream. We're going to be filming the Chicho. This was a Chicho Interactive. Alfred Montaner, uh, I want to thank Mrs. Montaner for coming in. I want to thank Carbon, Carbon Fiber, for being all over my wife's car. Um, babe, just, I, I'll give you the go-ahead. Um, start looking for a car, dude. I, I feel bad for you. And, uh, and I, I don't want you to get stopped everywhere you go either because your car just looks so hood. Oh my goodness, Alfred Montaner making a scene as all well. Aiden, I love you. I love you, but you gotta get re remove some of that. Even if you keep the car, Aiden, you gotta you gotta take off some of that carbon fiber. Come on, bro. It's tacky, bro. I love you, but that's it. Uh, I'm out of here. Guys, thanks for stopping in. Hey, on the way out, before you guys leave, make sure you guys smash that like. It's important. It helps the channel immensely. And uh, we're out of here. Hey, Salty, thank you, bro. I really appreciate you. Yeah, man. Have a good one out there. All right, guys. We're out of here.